Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very different video for you guys because Brendan and I are building a home gym. Impulse bot. In our living room, yes, impulse bot. I mean, we've really wanted to do this. We wanted to do this when we got to a better, bigger home with a garage and, or a basement or something like that, but that's just not gonna be in the cards for us for maybe even a couple years. So we were at Dick's today just kind of taking a look at what they had and we were like, you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. So this area we've just cleaned out. So, okay, this is really bad, you guys. Please ignore how bad this is. Um, this is the current state of our living room because, well, Brendan's in his underwear, okay. So I was unpacking from a trip. We've got laundry to fold. I've been crafting right here. This is all stuff I need to take to um, the consignment shop, which I've been procrastinating on doing, but I really need to do. And then this is all stuff that was in my home goods haul that I'm reselling. Um, and then this is trash from that haul, but I wanna keep it because I need the packing materials for my Etsy shop. So we've got a ton going on in the living room, but all of this stuff was sitting in here. Um, so I feel like I'm having a hard time giving you guys like the scope of the space, but it's a decent little area. This is kind of what we have to work with, with our, for our home gym. Yeah, and then we'll also be utilizing this side. So this is where our dumbbell rack will go. And then um, this is more stuff, like I need to paint these doors and they're going upstairs. This is more stuff that's being sold on Facebook Marketplace. And then all the way back there, I'm just going to put a bike. I'm gonna move this stool, I'm gonna put a bike there so that I can bike um, as like a warm up or cool down or whatever and be able to watch the TV because I have a really hard time getting through cardio um, and it's a lot better if I can watch TV. So. I cannot believe we bought it. So we spent about $1,000 at Dick's. We bought a rack, we bought a flat bench, we bought three sets of 16 square foot mats. Um, we bought, what else did we buy? We bought bands, we bought um, a tricep extension, like the rope for that. We bought um, a one resistance like loop band, not like a cord band. What else did we buy, babe? Oh, and we bought a three-tier dumbbell, dumbbell rack. rack. Um, Bands. So this weekend, we're gonna try and source plates and dumbbells through Facebook Marketplace. Um, and hopefully by maybe Monday, we'll have a working gym if we can get our barbell in time. We ordered one through Rogue. Doubtful. So we might not be able to be in business till early next week, but my battery's flashing, so I'm gonna go Enjoy the video. Okay, so obviously we just started unpacking the flooring. Again, I'll try and link everything that we purchased in the description bar below. Um, but these were really super easy. It's literally just like putting a little puzzle together. Um, you just kind of have to stamp everything into place. And you know, it's really seamless actually. Once it's all put together, it looks great. Um, and then I just kind of started unpackaging, you know, our flat bench and the two boxes with our squat equipment in there, our squat rack equipment in there. Um, definitely a lot of pieces. I would highly recommend not throwing, throwing away the box until you've completely finished, um, building it and it works properly because, you know, you don't want to throw away a piece that you accidentally missed, um, and then kind of be <laughs> screwed and have to wait for it to, um, to order it and come in with the company and everything. So yeah, definitely don't throw the box away, but yeah, there was just a ton in here. So this is me just unboxing five million pieces so that we could build this squat rack um it does come with safety bars and a pull-up bar to go across the top and it was kind of difficult to put together honestly so definitely carve out at least like an hour to two hours if you have two people to put this together um because some of it is kind of finicky and you kind of have to mess with it to get it to work so yeah, and then I just kind of started building the flat bench. Um, my camera cuts out before it finishes, but this was really easy to build. Honestly, I don't know what I filmed last. Um, <laughs> so just thought I'd show you guys the other day, I unboxed all this, which I'm pretty sure I filmed. Um, so all of the parts are for the rack and for the bench are laid out. So um, Brendan and I are about to get started. I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse. You can see the progress. I'm going to turn some friends on and we're going to get this baby built. Maybe not all the way tonight, but hopefully at least most of the way.
So super inconvenient, but my phone died literally like halfway through building the bench, but the bench and the rack are built like, look at all of it. It's so big. Like, hold on, let me show you guys in the grand scheme of our living room. Jesus freaking bench is light. Like, this is our couch and everything. And then our rack. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a statement piece. <laughs> but we have a rack. Super exciting. Yay. All of the flooring is in apart from one more piece. So we need to buy another four pack. And then we're going to put the other three, um you know, mats that come in that pack over there where we're gonna put the uh, stationary bike soon. Um, but one thing I forgot to show you guys is that we did actually also get an easy curl bar today. So that's gonna be really nice because, um, first of all, Brandon and I both like easy curl bar for multiple exercises. Um, and then the other thing is that we don't have a barbell yet. It has shipped from Rogue. We got the Ohio Power Bar. Um, Brennan's really picky about bars, so I will let him pick that out. Um, but we don't have that in yet, but it's good because now we at least have this, which it's totally not the same, but at least with this, we can pretty much get in a good full workout in starting tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be the first official day of using our home gym. I'll definitely be sure to vlog our first ever workout in our half living room home gym. Um, but now we need to build this dumbbell rack because we did purchase the dumbbells like I told you guys. Um, so we're going to work on building this rack and kind of get the rest of this little area situated. Brendan's very hype. Also, please read his shirt because it's very important to me. Okay, so this is me building our uh, three-tier dumbbell rack, which was really easy. I did most of it myself, honestly. Brendan just helped me in the end by, like, holding the shelves stable while I, you know, screwed them in. Um, so this was really easy, and I recommend this one. I like how sleek and simple it is, um, you know, and it's obviously functional because it works really well. <laughs> wow, that was so helpful. You're welcome, everybody, for that great description. Wow. We have a rack, y'all. Boom. All right, let's move it into position. Dang, that's like perfect, y'all, because look. Like, here's our walkway, and it like perfectly is a little bit behind, so we're not going to, you know, easily trip on it or step on it or anything. Wow, nice butt. Perfect. Good. We're just trying to make things in the back. Even. Yeah. And then we're gonna put maybe like a mirror up here, and maybe even a mirror behind the rack to like kind of check your uh, check your form while you're squatting. All right, let's put some dumbbells on there. All right. Kettlebell over there. Dumbbell. Dumbbell. Twenty for the minute. Those fit perfect. Yee! This is so exciting, babe. Yeah. I'm so freaking hyped. Another 10 pound on the rack. Fully stocked dumbbell rack. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty sad, but honestly, I'm not mad. We got 10s, 20s, and 30s to start out. Again, we're trying to get the bare minimum of what we can get a full good workout in with. Um, and honestly, anything that we need heavier dumbbells for, we can do with a barbell, and that's gonna be that. Max is supervising, as per usual. So I'm putting the um, the big hooks that we got on the side of our dumbbell rack because these items are kind of bulky. So like I have the um, triceps extension rope. This is kind of bulky, so like that is like so much more out of the way. And then, and then we have the um, single arm. This one got all funky. And those can just go right there. So that's really good because those are super out of the way, but nice and organized. I need to figure out a good height for these to hang. So that's pretty good, just like that. 
Yeah, that's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all the stickies up. Okay. All right, those are up. Now, I need to take the tag off that one. All right, so we've got our 20 right here. Then our 40, make sure the weights are facing out so we know what we're working with. The 60, and then 80. Ooh, that almost he nailed me in the foot. And 100. Where's Look the, how organized! Where's the purple band? Right here. Put that? All right, last hook, you guys. Boom. Put that bad boy on there. And that's good because then we have room, you know, we can get another one. So you have like multiple. There we go. You have multiple soon. Yeah. Woo! Boom, I'm so excited. Are you excited? I'm really excited. We have a whole gym. Now we have no excuse. We have a whole gym. We... You know what we need? You know what we need maybe to go right here? Bar yeah. storage. Because now we have our easy bar. I don't think that bar storage bar storage is gonna fit. Oh, like yeah, we could just have an easy bar. Yeah. The, I mean the the power bar will stay on the rack. Yeah. But we're gonna have one bar storage. Well, we might get other accoutrement bars later on. Yeah. So. Okay, and here is our first workout in our gym. Obviously, we don't have the bar yet during this workout, and we kind of just like messed around honestly you can see us like dancing and just kind of goofing off um but it was good to just kind of get a feel for the space and um get a feel for what we could use the cables for and everything um and it was actually a pretty decent workout for how much we were just kind of goofing off <laughs> so you guys back on my good camera so i hope the quality has increased um <laughs> The power bar came in, but I am going to wait and let Brendan unbox that because um, he's gonna be very excited to unpack that. Um, so he should be home in like maybe 10 minutes or so. Um, I'm trying to prop you guys up somewhere. Mm, that's not gonna work. Okay, anyways, I'll just hold it, it's fine. So I also got this whiteboard calendar. So this is going to go up on our wall right here so that we can write out our workouts and then in the morning don't have to think about it or anything. We just know what's on the menu for that day and then, you know, maybe we'll stick to that program for a couple weeks, month or so, and then change it up. So super excited. I mean, I feel like this gym has come such a long way, literally in like a week and I, it still has not fully hit me that we have a full home gym. Um, uh, Brendan and I did like our first kind of workout, but not really workout. It was more like get a feel for how we can use this equipment and use this space. Um, we don't quite have everything that we want in here yet. We didn't even have the bar. So we did that on Tuesday morning just to kind of see what it would feel like and everything. Um, and it was a good time. So I'm going to hang this up real quick, but yeah, it's coming along guys. Okay, so it's not totally level, even though I tried to make sure it was, but not too shabby. All right, now I need to add my little markers. Perfect. Yay! Uh, All right, wow. Guys. Got it. Oh, where'd that staple go? Oh, it's just cardboard, never mind. Wow. All right, babe. Look at that. I think you can probably, it's just a, you can probably just slide it out now. Slide it out, babe. So I'm saying, I think you need to stand it up. Thank you. You guys. Oh, 
Oh, should we get a colored custom one? Yeah? I'm gonna do it Maybe orange. Maybe later blue. when we have money. You know I designed you a custom one for your birthday a while back. Yeah, whatever then, happened to that? Well, I mean, how... We didn't. We weren't able to have a home gym, so I wasn't gonna buy it back then and just move a barbell around with nothing to use it with for a long time. Why not? Babe, you got your bar! Are you happy? Yeah, Here. Here. Give me the other end and I'll pull it off. Mm. Mm. Stick around the collar. Oh. I have to cut it. camera always on the battery. It's not. I just don't feel like going upstairs to get it. Wow. Look at that knurling. Look at the nerve. You excited? Alright, put it on. You gotta... those, those aren't even. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Oh, yeah, you're right. We need to write our uh, bum, bum, stock tights on there. Bum. Hey guys, um, so it is literally, I can't remember the last time I filmed in regards to the gym haul, maybe like a little less than a week, but guys, this is our bike. So I ordered this from Target. I will link it below. So if you like it, you can purchase. Um, we're gonna go ahead and build this thing and then we're gonna have like the fully functional, what we want for now gym pretty much done. So um, yeah, we're gonna build this, set it up, show you guys, and then I'll give you a little final gym tour. I'm so excited. Okay, so just unboxed it and then we're just gonna build it piece by piece back over here where we've cleared an area for it to go um seriously though this got me so like grateful when i was unboxing this because i literally ordered this like saturday afternoon and it's monday evening and i have a full stationary bike in my house like we are so lucky not just to have like stationary bikes to use for fitness inside of our homes, but also the fact that like, you know, when we were kids or like, when our parents were kids or whatever, like you had to go somewhere and buy this and like get it home and like all this stuff. And here within two days, I basically have like, I haven't touched it. It came mostly assembled. We pretty much just have to put like the accoutrement on it and like it's done. Like. We live in such a cool world where that is just like, I mean, sorry, this is a really nerdy rant, but like, it is just such a cool world that we live in where like, I can just tell someone and pay them some money and a bike shows up at my house two days later. Like what? Anyways, weird rant. I'm gonna go build this now. <laughs> Y'all, this was so easy to build, which I was really happy about. I'm so glad that like the entire main frame came completely Put together because I thought this was going to actually be a really complicated build and it wasn't so you can see I'm literally just screwing on the stabilization legs and all the screws that you need are already like screwed into the section that you need them screwed into so you just kind of have to unscrew them and re-screw them back in which is super helpful um and the camera cut out but I put on the seat and then now we're putting on the handlebars and attaching the um like little distance thingamajigger and then you can see me and Brenton testing it out and it works. Okay, I'm exhausted. We have an assembled bike and literally guys look how perfect it fit in this area right here. Like literally so good. Only thing is we definitely yeah. need to put these elsewhere because that's in the way. But like I love this because on the screen here, you can literally put your phone, you can put like a tablet, you can put a book, and then we also have a perfect view of the TV, and then it's got two 
water bottle. Well, really three because there's one down there. Water bottle compartments, and then a little monitor to tell you what you've this done. Is like crooked, dude. Look at it. So yeah, I mean we're not really going to use that. What water bottle really fits in there? Not many, so we'll use this one. Um, but we made it so it's pretty comfortable for Brendan and I both to sit on and bike. So yeah, woo, woo. You excited? Yeah, cardio. Hey guys, welcome to our gym. Starting over here, I just wanna give you guys a really quick run through of everything completed. Obviously, we've got the gym mats all set out in a huge square. Then over here, um, we definitely will add some storage for barbells and other specialty bars. Um, but for right now, we've just got an easy curl bar to do different um, little things with. Obviously, we've got our squat racks here. We've got some plates that we got from Dick's. We've got some plates we got from Facebook Marketplace and also some plates that we got from my dad. Um, Ohio Power Bar, very yeah, yeah. important to Brendan. We've got just a normal flat bench so that we can bench, we can do bench dips, we can do step ups. We can really utilize this for a lot of things. Um, we do have a mirror just so we can check form and check out the gains, <laughs> um, but we do need to hang it. Um, and then our uh, rack does come with a, um, a pull up situation, which is actually really cool because you can adjust these to be. Well, if Holly can figure out how to do it, you can adjust them to be um, thinner or wider. It's really nice that you can do that because. Um, you can do some really super wide grip pull-ups. It's kind of finicky, perfectly getting it through the hole there. That's what she said. Um, but it's nice that you can get like really wide grip or narrow grip pull-ups, chin-ups, that kind of thing. Um, and obviously just some blank space over here. We might add a couple more pads right over here and add something like maybe the barbell storage goes here or whatever later on. That's a possibility. Then coming out, back over here, we've got all of our different band sizes. So um, all of these feature carabiners, so you can easily click them into whatever accessories we need. Um, sorry if you guys can hear the AC, the AC unit's like right here. We've got a 50 pound kettlebell, perfect for all sorts of different stuff. Um, and then back here, we've actually got our massage gun. So Brandon just got this off Amazon. I'll try and find this specific one with the link. Um, so we just keep it here because- It's not the fanciest one. Safe keeping. Um, and then we've just got this band right here which was supposed to help me with pull-ups but it is not um like strong enough it doesn't really help me that much so we'll have to get a different one of those then obviously we have our barbell rack we've got 10 20 dumbbell rack what did i say barbell rack dumbbell rack we've got 10 20 and 30 pound pairs of dumbbells so far obviously we definitely want to add on to it um we actually have like our main equipment that we want to add like ongoing list here so yoga mat and then we have 50 75 and 100 pound dumbbells on there obviously there's a lot of numbers in between like 15 25 40s that we want to add but like those are kind of the number one ones that we want to get sooner rather than later and then under here we just store the safety bars for the rack these are nice and out of the way here they stick out pretty far in the rack so it's easy to kind of hit them when you're walking by so they're just under there and we can pull them out when we need them then right here we kind of have just a mess of brendan's equipment which <laughs> is fine for now we are going to get like a little storage table unit side table type thing so we can put all of this inside a cabinet have it looking really neat and then it'll also serve as like a tabletop so that we can put our pre on here we can have our water bottles um and just not have to like leave it laying around the gym when we're working out in the morning and last but certainly not least you guys saw when i was hanging this up but now it is filled out um, these are our all of our July workouts and so it's kind of organized by um, like everything that is in pink is my workout everything that's in blue is in Brendan's workout and then we do some workouts together so you can see like French press we're doing together but like he has three sets of 12 to 15 I have four sets of 10 to 12 so yeah I mean we have a whole gym in our house okay so just to finish out this video, we just want to say, like, we are literally so incredibly grateful that we were able to build a gym in our home. Like, I think already we've seen what a difference this has made in our lives. Um, being able to work out in the mornings has been a huge, like, mood booster for both of us. Um, 
I think going ahead and getting it done early in the day has just made our lives so much easier. Obviously, we don't have to commute to the gym, which saves time and money and helps save the earth because we're saving gas. Um, so that's a, another plus. Um, and then it's so great because now we can get up in the morning and <laughs> I am she wants to be part of the video. Um, now we can get up early in the morning. We can get our workout done, good to go. Um, which it's way better for you to work out in the morning anyways. There's proven sleep and other health benefits to working out um, in the morning time versus in the evening. We can go to work, knock out work, come home, and actually have time together. Like normally we were getting home at like eight o'clock, 7.30, 8 o'clock, eating dinner, and then I would either work on Etsy orders or pretty much get ready for bed and Brendan like it's important to him to have time at the end of the day to kind of relax his brain and he likes to play video games so he would go play video games and then we would go to sleep so we were getting like no quality time together um and now we've been able to do the Etsy orders play video games but also have quality time together and take our time with eating dinner and stuff and I don't know you can I don't know what you want to say but like I just even if it's really some people would think it's really I don't say the word trashy because that's not right the right word but you guys know what I mean to have a gym straight up in your living room but you know this is our first home and we're just making things work the best that we can um and maybe it's not the most aesthetic thing in the world but I think we made it look really clean and neat um <laughs> mama is loving the cuddle <laughs> I don't know. What do you want to say? Is there anything you want I to mean, say? I mean, I don't know. You pretty much nailed it on the head. I mean, it's not ugly. Like, it works. You know, it's there's still room to walk and everything. There's it's funny because it's pretty much all gray, black, and white, which is literally, like, basically... Our style. The color scheme of our entire living room. So it actually kind of matches, but... Yeah, and, like, it's just so much, it's so much nicer waking up and getting out of the way and then... It's 5.30 when we come home and like we don't know what to do with ourselves because we've never had this much time. Yeah. <laughs> Always trying to steal the attention. Literally so needy. Mama! <laughs> Move, You're bro. joking! <laughs> Move, bro! Go, baby girl, go! Come on, come on. There you go. Sit right here. Sit right here. Okay, all right, we need to finish I don't even know where it was. I uh, saying get home at 5.30. Yeah, and just enjoying time and watch like Marvel movies. Like now we just come home, we watch a couple Marvel movies or like whatever and we eat dinner. We don't just watch Marvel movies every night. We're watching them in order chronologically because we've, yeah. we've never done that. There's a reason why we're watching all the Marvel movies. <laughs> um, I mean, but yeah, it's, it's so much better. Like we do this for us. We don't, well, I don't know, necessarily care that it's unesthetic. Yeah. You know, it's just so much easier for us. I just like it's crazy. And we're happier in the morning. Yeah. Because we're in a good mood. Normally we I'm out. cranky as heck in yes. the morning and it's I very haven't grumpy. been. Oh, another thing too is like I think my hatch alarm clock, which if the review already is up on my channel, I'm doing like a whole review on the hatch. I'll link it somewhere up here if it's already up. If not, look forward to that video. Make sure you subscribe. Um and like. But yeah, the hatch has made it so easy, so much easier for, I don't know about you, but for me to wake up in the morning in a good mood and like excited to work out. Um, yeah, I mean, I just, I literally could not be more excited or grateful or excited, I don't know, to have this in our house. I just like have already felt it make such a difference for our lifestyle and like, yeah. There's no question about whether or not we're going to go to the gym because it's done before we start the day versus having to get the motivation to go work hard in the gym after an entire stressful work day. And believe me, we have some stressful work days. <laughs> um, so yeah. All right. I need to close this out because my um, camera is going to lose um, memory in like half a second. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a like, hit that subscribe button down below to come hang out with myself, Brendan, Lily, and Max, wherever Somewhere. he is. <laughs> um, more on the channel. Got a ton of Disney and other lifestyle content. So hope you guys enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Mama, you say bye. Bye everybody. <laughs> wait, wait, no mama. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Yeah, yeah.